This is another one of those things where my brain just doesn't understand what the hell is going on! How's it going, everyone? My name is Swingpoint, and this is another episode of The Cat Lady. And in this episode, we learn a lot more about Susan's past. She starts to open up to Mitzi while they're both sitting there naked next to each Mitzi? other. <laughs> what the? Is Ashworth? I thought. I thought you were dead. No, just immortal. I saw that man hit you right in the head. <laughs> Me? Dead? No. <laughs> I'm tough. No, I'm a tough old girl. What? You can't kill me that easily. Uh-uh. Stop asking stupid questions. We have no time for that. Let's calm down, yeah? It never asked anything. Okay, I can do that. What's this? Duct tape. Yeah, he had loads of that stuff. <laughs> Maybe we can break this tape if we pull really hard? It won't hurt to try. What the hell, man? Okay. It's Why pointless. Didn't you... We're completely wrapped in this damn tape. We're cocoons. <laughs> stuck in a web. Waiting to be eaten. Oh! But where's the spider? He oh no. Play with us first, isn't he? Oh. <sighs> Pull yourself together and stop <sighs> talking shit. I can't think properly. What about, yeah, what about, what about those, those lockpicks? What about those lockpicks that you always carry with you? You know, the ones you got from your dad and used to break into this place? But we aren't locked in a room, are we? Wrapped in duct tape in case you forgot. Stab. How is a lockpick gonna help here? I don't know. It's probably sharp. Yeah, you there could you use go. it to cut this tape. Exactly. Well, even if that was the case, I can't reach it anyway. So let's forget the lockpicks and think of something else, alright? Sorry, Mitzi. Did he hurt you? Did he hurt you? That bastard packs a hell of a punch. Oh. I've got a bit of a headache, but I think I'm all right. What about you, Mrs. A? Me? Fresh as a daisy. But I'll feel better <laughs> after we've dealt with this unpleasant guest of ours. So... Do you think he's going to... rape us? Oh. No, he is not. Uh -uh. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Let's just wait for him to come back. Sooner or later, they always make a mistake. Miss A, I'm sorry I had upset you. Oh. I shouldn't have pushed you so hard. I'm and sorry. I'm sorry about the mug, too. It's all right. Water under the bridge. There we go. Good. So does she go into one of those trippy worlds every time she dies? Or every time she's supposed to die, I should say, not when I mess up. Huh. I'm trying to think it all through in the past of when we've gotten killed and then when we came back. Yeah, she always goes into a weird world. It gets really trippy after she gets killed, so that must have been what it is. Let's use this sharp knife to cut the tape then, shall we? What? You've got a knife? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just remembered. I can't reach it. So let's forget the knife and think of something else, yeah? Oh, I you guess. are a nasty piece of work, Miss A. I really believed you had a knife. You shouldn't joke about it, you know. <laughs> it's cruel. It wasn't a joke. I lied to you. And you <laughs> lied about the lockpicks, didn't you? Wow. You don't really have them. Who are you to call me a liar? Uh-oh. I can't reach the damn lockpicks. It's the truth. Really? Yes. But clearly my word isn't enough. You know what? I'll show you when this is over. If we're not chopped into little pieces, packed in plastic shopping bags, and dumped in the trash, that is. Huh. Maybe it won't come to that. He might just throw our bodies in the river, or bury them in the woods. Maybe there won't be any shopping. Ew. Always an optimist. <laughs> Got any ideas? So, uh, any ideas? Not that many, really. None at all, actually. I'm sorry. It's okay. And you? What do you think we should do? We should kill the fucker. Yeah. With what? We're tied up. Are you going to headbutt him to death? Yeah. Well, if there's no other way. <laughs> Come on, there's got to be something more sensible we can do. I'm not gonna die here. Not like this. I wonder if this guy's the Eye of Adam. Maybe together we can pull this pipe. Maybe Let's try Maybe together it. we can pull this pipe off the wall. How is that exactly going to help us? Stop asking stupid questions and pull with me. Hold the pull the pipe, let's do it. 
How are we getting... Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gotta be so hot. Oh, I'm sorry, Mitzi. Oh, that's gotta be so hot. Ow. Great, that's just what we needed. A cold shower. Oh, it's cold, thank God. Why? I used to like flowers. I used to like flowers, you know. Like everyone else. Or even more. There was this guy. I should have told him from the start I wasn't interested. But I didn't. Maybe I was interested. In a way, probably. Huh. Flattered would be a better word. It was ten years ago. I can hardly even remember him now. He did that thing every week. Because he knew Eric was at work, and I was in the flat alone. Oh. So every Friday night, I'd get flowers delivered by a courier. Who's Eric? Your partner? Yeah. My husband. Oh. He was a taxi driver. Worked every weekend. And oh. I was still on maternity leave. <gasps> Baby! Zoe, our little daughter, oh. was only six months old at the time. Oh. Well, five months and 28 days exactly. She would be 11 now. Anyway, that one Friday evening's courier had delivered a big bouquet of the most beautiful lilies. Usually, I would have thrown them away, but I really liked them. Somehow, they were extraordinary, absolutely stunning, and looked very expensive. Why is the phone ringing? I stood there looking at them, mesmerized. I didn't even hear the phone ring at first, but then I heard it loud and clear, as if I'd woken up from a strange dream, and I knew it was him calling. This is interesting. Well, now we get to learn a little bit more about Susan. Huh. Whoa, is that Susan? No way! Whoa, what the hell is it? Phone ring? Answer? Lilies? Let's let's meow. Oh, sweet and sinister. Admire. They're the prettiest flowers I've ever gotten. I love them. They're absolutely beautiful. Read note. It reads... I know one day you'll say yes. Ew. If I'm gonna keep them, I should definitely throw this note away. Just in case Eric finds it. What is... Are you dreaming, lady? Answer. Do you like the flowers? I asked you not to send me anything? I asked you not to send me anything. I... I couldn't resist. Susan what looks so nice. Why does it say liar? me that I can't see you. I would give anything. Better stop here. You know very well how I feel about you. So he was lying. He was lying. There's so much symbolism in this game, and it just takes a lot to soak in every once in a while. You're wasting your time and money. Be rude. You're wasting your time and money. You're right. Maybe I am. But you answered the phone, didn't you? You always do. Every Friday. You could have just let it ring. I know that. I'm not giving up so easily, Susan. Why not? You're a stalker. I should call the police. I'm just... I'm very badly in love with you, Susan. Why? If that's a crime, then yes. Call the cops and have them arrest me. I won't Do even it. resist. Shut up, alright? Shut up. Just shut up, alright? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, Susan. I got carried away. But please, just think about it. No. I have time. I no. wait. Listen, no. I have to go. It's getting late. Yeah. Wait. Huh? Yeah. When I call you again next Friday, you will answer the phone, won't you? Maybe yes. No. no. I'm sorry, but this is over. Goodbye and good luck. I guess I should do something about these flowers. I'd really like to keep them. But I don't want Eric to know I have a secret admirer. It's so weird seeing Susan dressed in orange. Eric can't see what? Eric can't see them. That's not she. What is going on, dude? 
This is another one of those things where my brain just doesn't understand what the hell is going on! Where's your head at, Susan? You can't oh, leave the flowers here. Eric will ask who they're from. Uh, I don't know what to do with them. Take them, I guess. Take? Yeah, put them in your pocket. <laughs> now where are we gonna go? Over here? Uh, what? Is this just how she remembers what happened? Is this- is that what this is? Because it was so long ago, everything's blurred. Kitties! Play the piano. I can't play now, I'd wake so- <gasps> The baby! The baby! Bye-bye, come here, bye-bye. Eric brought this table up just a few weeks ago. In a second-hand furniture shop. We haven't really got a lot of money at the moment. I guess it'll get better when I return to work in a couple months, I guess. Yeah, you're a nurse. Don't nurses get paid a lot? I could be wrong. <gasps> this is the baby's bedroom! Mitzi's in the baby's bedroom. Talk to Zoe. I don't want to wake her up. Aw. Well, let's look at her. She's fast asleep. My baby girl. She's so cute. Aw. Where do I hide the flowers? Look at all this text going on in the background. And look at how orange Susan is. Put down. There now we go. I can tell Eric that Mandy had brought them for Zoe. It seems like a pretty innocent lie. Oh. I doubt he'll notice anyway. Not good. I hope you're dreaming about something nice, my little star. Aww. <gasps> Eric? Eric must have come home early. But why? It's not Eric. It's the creepy dude and he's gonna kill your kid. <laughs> Sorry. Just saying. It's not Eric. It's not gonna be Eric. I don't know who it is, but it's not Eric. This is gonna suck. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! Who are you? You're back early. It is, Eric. Is something wrong? Yeah. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Uh-oh. Is something wrong? Uh... Yes, Susan. Oh. There is. Sorry. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? Didn't no. talk to anyone today? No. Wh what happened? Sorry, Eric, just wrong. tell me what's wrong, okay? It was those bloody terrorists again. Here uh -oh. on our doorstep. Uh-oh. Would you believe that? So... It was a bomb. Uh -oh. Yes, in a restaurant. Uh -oh. There's chaos spreading all through the city. That's Everyone's panicking. The police and army are everywhere. But you don't even care, do you, Susan? I do. I do care. Of course I care. I don't watch the news. I we didn't cartoons. Watch the news. We had cartoons on all day. You should pay more attention to what's happening to this country, Susan. I'm I could sorry. have died, and you wouldn't even know. Uh. Did you get hurt? No. Not really. <laughs> the cap smashed quite badly. Oh no. I was just there when it happened. <gasps> Damn! There was smoke. Clouds of dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. Damn! So I stop, and all of a sudden some van hits me from the back. I hear oh. my passengers screaming and shouting, and there's blood on the rear window. Oh god! And just then another car drives right into us, and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on. But imagining this might just be the end of the world. But no, it was some geezer with a bloody bomb. They huh. closed all the main streets, in case there's more of them. What time was wow. that? Around 7 p.m. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. Would you garage? believe? Our insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should what? have called me. I did. Four times. You didn't answer. Whoa. I must have been... Yeah, yeah. You were busy with the baby. Every time it's the same old story. We've still got that wine in the fridge, haven't we? Get some glasses, Susan. I need a drink. Oh, the wine glasses again. All right. I'll get the glasses. You get the wine. But are you sure you don't want to take a shower first? Yeah. No, I just need a drink. I can okay. wash later. Okay. Huh. Interesting. We're gonna have to end this episode here, guys. This is all we had time for today, so I'm sorry the episode is a little bit shorter than usual. But as always, thank you very much for watching. You guys are the best. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next yeah. episode. Goodbye! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, Mitzi! Oh, I didn't want to yell at Mitzi right before she dies! Oh, you're gonna kill Mitzi! No!
Oh god. Oh god, I'm controlling it now. Mitzi, where'd you go? Mitzi? Mitzi? 